Looks like a nice convergence up there, but the problem is we're down here. Easy. I'm not going up. What about you? So I was too keen. Bombed out after a few short minutes. Pretty sinky and didn't have much height to play with to try and work the bubbles that are coming off the valley. But uh, it's still early and it's actually still shady. So the, the walk up could be worse. Someone just took a tumble. It's um, pretty cross and over the back at lunch, but I'm off now. Inabara from three and a half thousand feet. Mine's uh, somewhere up there. I can't see him. I haven't seen him in a while. One or two other wings flying in each one. Lovely day. Bit of a bum out to uh, quickly hike up and get the blood flowing again. And and off we go. Well, just a turn or so over the strongest climb of the day. By far, over this nice little uh, scallop in the cliffs. <laughs> awesome! And I'm really liking the feel of this uh, wing. Philippe's done a little bit of trimming to it. I don't know if it's made a difference, but uh, it feels bloody good today. The day is turning on. Yeah, uh, well, it's already turned on. I've just been talking to Lane and uh, we're not going to take the scenic route right around the caldera, we're going to cut across a little bit, get straight down to business. Here's a good demonstration of New South Wales effect, damp MS. Pretty spectacular, Mount Warning and what an amphitheatre around it. Yeah, I'm not bored of this. Uh, this flight yet. Oh, unbelievable. So Lane's already gliding down that way. Oh, this is an awesome spot, eh? Limpinwood Spur. Oh, it just doesn't get old. Some decent lift here. I'm getting suckered into turning where really maybe I should just uh, point down the ridge. There's the fort. Oh, amazing. I said before oh, on the radio, I said I'm coming to get you. I think he's turning too much. Should I shoot underneath and bomb out and show him how it's done? So a drier air mass on the Queensland side and look at this. I'm really just riding the convergence. Lane's down there on the ridge. The caldera is the place to be. I'm a little bit uh, concerned that there's a little bit of wind coming this way but just thinking about the crossing, but we've got a bit of time until we have to worry about that. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, it's camera time! Oh, I'm running the ridge here. Fantastic stuff. It's hard to resist the thermals. Lane must have got a climb and then he's headed out, but I reckon he should follow the ridge. It's all happening here. But yeah, you can't go wrong. It's just amazing. I feel I'm like I'm buzzing the tower with this look out here, but everyone's gone home. Planes are uh, gone at the back of it. <laughs> we are stoked. This is epic. Mount Warning, how many times am I going to say that today? The Caldera, how many times am I going to say that today? And Lane. <laughs> Yeah, so there are actually quite a lot of trees down there. Yeah, there's a lot of trees out there, so I uh, probably should be a little bit higher than I am. Good thing 
there's a really good cliff here facing the sun. So Lane's there. Oh, is he still thinking about crossing the barrel? I don't think I will. Kynan said on WhatsApp that he didn't make it from uh, there to here. Heading west on board he was flying from Monty's today. Looks like Lane's going for it. Well, I've got that landing there. It's getting a little bit butt clenchy and it's a little bit uh, northwest, so we're pushing headwind going back this way. Lane decided to go for barrel. He was quite high um, on his way over there. It might work out, but I haven't heard from Lane in a little while, but I'm back to the caldera. It's like mother's milk. Beautiful. Surely they see me now. Yep, holding the phone up. Hello! Last day! <laughs> yeah, fantastic! How good's that? Yeah, I'll take a few turns. I was below ridge height. All those clouds are a bit high now, eh? Didn't take long. Mount Barney. Is that on the cards? Ticket to Queensland. Unfortunately, Lane landed at Mount Burrell. And uh, I'll just take this as high as I can. There was a big cloud here before. But can't complain. Yep, I think this uh, thermal's coming from the Queensland side. Even though it's lush rainforest, MS is a bit drier and uh, we're getting a bit higher. Look at this. Woohoo! What a nice view, eh? My first turn since uh, pushing into Queensland. And we've got Lindsay, Barney, Maroon, Chingy a bit closer, the fort, Tambo. You see the Gold Coast skyscrapers through there. And I think I don't need to stop for this climb. Had a three to one glide or less than four to one before I got into this. Yeah, it's a drier MS. Not as much uh, going on up here, but there's a cloud further on over Shingy, so that's good. Really quite a bit of drift on those cloud shadows from the southwest. It's only going to help me later if I uh, can stay up. Well, again, a lot of sink before I got this climb on the western side of Chingy. But this is a beauty, a really good climb. Four metres a second average now, I've seen it as 4.8 before, maybe even five. Three and a half thousand feet, I've followed the cloud street, but that ends up being the shady option. Barney or bust, it's a bit confusing to try and figure out what's going on with this sky. There's stuff going on, but I'm just going to have to rely a little bit on my good luck, I think. I might have cooked myself then, I might still have. I'll hold on to this. How do I get so low in here? Two to one glides just before. Oh no, what am I doing? Under 2,000 feet above sea level. Shit. I tried to keep it, but I lost the thermal, so onto this little spur here, which looks good. Pretend I'm in the Alps. Mount Barney. Oh, this is good. So I think this is Mount Ernest, the ridge of Mount Ernest. So that might be that one over there. Oh, some beefy looking clouds. It'd be nice to get up high again. Lovely flying, but I'm on a tight deadline. Sea breeze is not going to wait for me. Well, I have to say, I feel a bit lucky getting away with that. I was below Beachmont. I mean, I haven't been that low since Beachmont launch. I did uh, say before I glided in there that I'd rely on a bit of luck, but <laughs> oh, got away with it that time, I guess. Hopefully. So I just passed through 5,000 feet. I'm in a weak climb, one and a half meter a second average, and this will be my turn point. 
finally over 7,000 feet. Hopefully that means I can get some of that southwest tailwind that's been showing on the cloud shadows. Oh, it's going to be hard to get back on the sea reefs, but uh, so far so good. I mean, I'm miles away. Starting my climb from around 6,000 feet, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm so lucky not to deck it underneath Barney. I've been watching this face. The west side of neglected and I'm going for a lee side climb. I just went through a lot of sink. Oh, it's not all easy. Now the cloud street's kind of not looking as good as it did before. Another exciting lee side climb, this time behind the fort. Whoa! A little wedgie you might call it. So I'm at the northern end of it. Yeah, this wing doesn't normally collapse. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. Yeah, all well, the convergence clouds, or whatever they were, marking my way have disappeared on me, the little bastards. Oh, it's a sink again. Rotor, all right. Oh, let's get around the other side. Come on. All good. X Alps practice. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty hard from now on with the sea breeze. Well, the clouds are gone, but on the upside, it's sunnier, and I'm managing to get a climb here off the sort of middle part of Little Widgee. Well, it's racing against the clock, but now it's probably uh, just take every tiny little bit of lift. That's my probably my best chance. But yeah, 4,700 feet, that's not too bad. I'm going to have a crack at this one, I think. Going a little bit deeper to see if I can get another climb. Well, here's where I should have gone. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of height sinking out with the uh, sea breeze spilling over, over here. Well, the sea breeze is in. It's um, probably would have been pretty close to impossible, but cracky day. I'm glad I gave it a go, and uh, who knows how I'm going to get back to my motorbike. I'll figure that one out, hopefully. Oh, guys, you wouldn't believe it. I've got two first car lifts in a row all the way back to Canangra. Joe and Patrick, and uh, both Kiwis back in the day.